Hi, my dear students. This is Yarla Gatta, your English faculty, a world expert and a multiple world records holder. Welcome to the program Recreational English. It is also called Attractive English or Fun with Words. It is the first of its kind in the world. Okay, students, now you are going to enjoy the episode number five. It is called Funny Group Names or Funny Collective Nouns. Before going to the topic directly, here is an advice to the students. You must know the Definition of a collective noun for better understanding of the present topic. A collective noun is a word or phrase that refers to a group of people, animals, things, etc. That means a collective noun represents more than one person, animal, bird or thing in a class. The present topic funny collective nouns is most useful to the students who are preparing for competitive exams. Okay. Okay, students. Now you are watching a stanza on the screen. The title is Storytelling. Really, this stanza tells us a small story about a boy and his grandfather. One day, a boy with his grandfather went out for sightseeing in Delhi. On the way, the boy asked his grandfather to enjoy four things. First, he asked her to enjoy the colorful flower bouquets in a truck. In second thing, amazing tower of a school building. Third, huge lounge of the parliament. The fourth one is the busy life of present generation. This is the story. Really, there is no fun at all in the story. But the fun is in the words used in the stanza. There are 15 words in the stanza, including title. The 15 words are used in two different ways. One is funny way and another is P-U-N-N-Y, funny way. The total stanza gives us two meanings. One is directly and another one is indirectly. Direct meaning is a simple story that you have listened to now. The indirect meaning is the total words are nothing but collective nouns of various animals and flowers. Listen carefully. The total 15 words used in this stanza are nothing but collective nouns, I mean group names of some animals, birds and things. So, that stanza can be read or understood in two ways. One is indirect a story and another one is all words are funny names of collective nouns 
of animals. Okay, that is the fun. For example, parliament means a group of owls. School means group of fish. Parcel means group of penguins. Lounge means group of lizards. Like that, the remaining words have a funny group names. A chart is here with attached for better understanding with meanings of the total 15 words. In addition to that, two charts are also attached with funny character nouns. Okay, students, this is the topic of this week. I think you have enjoyed a variety and a new topic a lot. Don't forget. This is much useful to the students who are going to take competitive exams. Further, the students can improve their creativity power by writing this kind of stanzas by making use the words furnished on the charts enclosed. Okay? Best of luck. Okay. This is the time for this week trivia and this week question. Okay, students, let us say goodbye to the present topic. See you in the next episode with a variety topic which is the first of its kind in the world. Till then, enjoy the wonders of the words and the beauty of the sentences. Bye. There is a copyrighted content in this program. Permission is required.